$2,500 on the line. Spencer Derrick's looking to go back to back. He's got Wyatt Block on the outside. They fire him. The Jake Transport starts zone and the final race of the weekend is green. And Spencer Derrick's what he did last night, getting to the lead early. Can he maintain it throughout 30 laps the distance tonight? And he's your leader down the back straightaway as they work off into turns three and four. Lap number one off turn number four. And Spencer Dierks looking strong. He leads the way. Yeah, Wyatt Block tucks in line in the center. Brandon Schmidt rather tucks in line in the second spot. Oh, hang on to it, Trevor Fitz. As the California, originally California native, now Marshalltown, Iowa neighbor of mine, going to slip off the racetrack down <laughs> in turns one and two. End of lap number two, Dirk still stays out front. Brandon Schmidt, Jeremiah Hurst, and Wyatt Block off Wimpke, your top five. Last night, Wimpke, I think, had to watch this feature. Tonight, he's running in the top five as they work down the back straightaway. And I tell you what, Dirk, this is what we saw out of Spencer last night. He broke away into a late race caution, grouped them back together, and he is looking real strong right now. He claims the Makokata is not a very good racetrack for him, but his results are telling a little bit different story right now. He's just toying with us a little bit. You're looking back now on the battle for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Battle for fifth right there in the middle of your screen. Scott Lemke has it. That's him in the 55. It's Dylan Thornton in the 38 T and Jacob Hopscheidt in that good-looking black, bright yellow and orange 12 T trying to work their way by. Those two drivers now side by side for sixth. Good battle back there for position number six out front. Spencer Dierks leads the way over Schmidt, Hurst, and Block. And don't look now, but I tell you what, right now, Brandon Schmidt making up a little bit of ground on your leader. The separation seven tenths of a second. We'll keep an eye on that. Absolutely. Brandon Schmidt, Brandon Schmidt certainly an accomplished modified driver. Again, the defending Beaver Dam Raceway track champ racing up there in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin on Tuesday nights. As he closes back in on Spencer Dierks. Both those drivers with 10 wins a year ago. And all of them came in the modifies, broke those guys. Dierks uh, splitting some time with the late model, looking back now on that battle for fifth dilly dilly trying oh. to go to the outside oh baby why a block got her up on two wheels and three and he went to the outside wheels as he was he was bicycling he gets it back on the ground block sits in the four spot but dylan thornton really starting to roll on the top side of the speedway and now he pulls even the battle for fourth right now block down low thornton up top as they race back to complete lap number eight dylan thornton got that high side momentum he's going to take that fourth spot away it may not be done yet next driver he's trying to catch is that kryptonite race car 21M of Jeremiah Hurst. You're not missing anything up front. Spencer Dierks still with nine tenths of a second over Brandon Schmidt. Schmidt. Oh, and we've got trouble over in turns one and two as one car has gone around. I believe it's the 56 of Jamie Pfeiffer, and that will bring out a Trix Utility Services caution. A caution flag. Erase that, and then uh, then we had the, just that fantastic battle over the last half of the race between he and Jacob Hopscheidt as they get the field sorted out here just a little bit. Dan Radel. No, Brandon Schmidt rather is teammates slow your second place car slow on the inside of the speedway and we'll see what the issue is on that Vanderbilt race car tough break Brandon Schmidt wow man what a heartbreaker there running second and just that car lost power under caution under this Trix utility services caution flag and it's going to be Jeremiah Hurst now in second he'll go to the outside Dylan Thornton on the inside eight laps in the books 22 laps to go we're back underway at the Jake Transport start zone, and Dierks gets a good restart. As don't look now, Dylan Thornton going to climb up to second. He'll step to the outside of the racetrack. He's been so good on the top, but he's got company down low. Jeremiah Hurst right there. Thornton tiptoes around to the outside, and now Thornton sets his sights on your leader. Spencer Dierks, last night's feature winner. He's led the first nine here tonight, DJ. Yeah, I'll tell you what, Ryan Doom may look out because Spencer Dierks may be taking over that car permanently the way he's been running this weekend. Dilly Dilly with a good run, though, on the outside as those two try to put a little bit of gap between themselves. And the other 21, the 21 Emma Jeremiah Hurst, this time by 10 laps down, 20 laps remaining. One third of the way home, and you got to think that right now Thornton got a bit extra mo motivation as he had some bad luck in that late model feature. Now he's going to look to the inside of Dierks. Slider for the lead off into three and four. Thornton in front of Derek's drag race back to the line. Leader of lap number 11. You got a new leader, and it's Dylan Thornton. Dylan Thornton, originally out of Santa Maria, California, now calling Keystone, Iowa home. 
Gonna get the gonna get slid down in turns one and two by Spencer Dierks. Dierks, though, able to work back by Thornton. Gonna go back by down in turns three and four. This time a drag race to the line. It's gonna be Dylan Thornton out front by three one hundredths of a second. Wow, another good one shaping up right now as we approach the halfway mark. Twenty five hundred on the line tonight. As Thornton briefly slips off the back straightaway, gets his feet back under him. Dierks is right there, back in third. It's Hurst in the four spot now. It's Lemke, Cody Laney from twelve up to fifth. We'll keep an eye on that five car. Yeah, Cody Laney rallying like he does oh so often in the IMCA Modifieds. That's third, fourth, and fifth on your screen, as Ben said. It's Jeremiah Hurst in that white 21, the red and yellow 55. A great run tonight for Scott Lemke, and there is the Ibox Springs number 5L of Torrance, California's Cody Laney trying to pick his way through the field. Good battle right now. As here comes Laney, and now Laney is into position number Five right now, and he's going to go after Lemke, who rides in the four spot. And you got to think right now, Laney would like to get one more spot, maybe see one of those cautions from Trix Utility Services. Meanwhile, out front, a 1.3 second advantage for Dylan Thornton as he is pulled away from Spencer Dierks as we're at the halfway mark. Yeah, you just saw the uh, 21 of Dierks kind of flash into your screen as these two drivers do battle for the podium. And that's Scott Lemke in the 55, the 5L of Cody Laney, as you'd mentioned, so ways back to this battle, about 1.9 seconds the advantage. Your second place car, Spencer Dierks, has over over these two drivers, Dylan Thornton with nearly that same gap at the front of the field. Then we close in, or we actually just passed the halfway, and we've got trouble down in turns three and four. Trevor Fitz goes around, and he's got company down there as well, and I can't tell exactly who that might be. I can't tell. Oh, there we go. Vantage point. Oh, man, That'd Bone Larson, yeah. Bone Larson, yeah. Is uh, Bone Larson, he, I thought he was going to back up into one of the cars passing by the defending Makoka to Speedway track champ. And there's a good look at Trevor Fitz. Well, right now, lights are down on the Speedway. We're going to come back to the Jake Transport start zone. It's Dylan Thornton in charge of this one, chasing a $2,500 top prize. And we're back underway with 13 laps remaining. He leads him off into turns one and two. Scott Lemke going to try to get a run in the middle of the racetrack. Oh. And Thornton slips up at the end of the front straightaway. He opens up the door for Spencer Deer to Cody Laney. And they're nearly three wide for the lead. And Thornton can't get there for the slider. Well, Dierks lead lap number as we come right now. Dylan Thornton's <laughs> going to take it back. I thought that we might see a different leader on lap number 18, but man, what a run. And now Dierks with a slider down in one and two. Here comes Laney. This is good stuff. Oh, man, I think Cody Laney's got the car to beat in this one, man. He's come from the 12th starting spot. He looks real good on the bottom of the racetrack, but it only counts at the scoring loop. Dilly Dilly going to stay out front, but uh, the 5L of Cody Laney is right there. Lemke's there. Dierks is there as well. Man, that long caution, it's just like Thornton's car didn't go as well or he just missed the groove on the restart. We come around to complete lap number 20. Will we have the third different leader of the race at the line? And it's Cody Laney that is your leader by eight thousandths of a second. Eight one thousandths of a second. Cody Laney takes the lead with 10 laps to go. Dylan Thornton trying to battle back on the outside. It looks like a repeat of last night. Two distinct groups move Dylan Thornton back out front on lap 21. This is just like last night. A guy on the bottom, a guy on the top. Thornton's up top. Laney's down low. And now Thornton's got his feet back under him, DJ. And you, you feel like maybe he just missed a little bit on the restart, but he's still got a really good hot rod. And he is going to lead the way now with just eight laps remaining. Yeah, I tell you what, the bump's down on the inside of the racetrack. It turns uh, three and four, not being kind to Cody Laney. He's hooked those the last couple times. And to your point, Ben, Dylan Thornton's been able to get a real good run on the top side of the racetrack as there's a gaggle of cars battling on back behind of them as well. But right now, it's Dylan Thornton, Cody Laney, Spencer Dierks out front. And look at this group of cars on back through the field. Wow, cars scattered in every possible line back through there. Two car breakaway out front as Spencer oh. Dierks off the pace out of the party. He will not go back to back here tonight. He he is going to take that car off the racetrack, and we stay green flag racing this time by six laps to go for your race leader, Dylan Thornton. He's got seven tenths of a second on Cody Laney, and right now Scott Lemke turning in a heck of a run as he rounds out the podium. All right now, white block back and forth. Chris Simpson has climbed into position number five. He started 17th. Has Simpson on the move in the number 32 car? 
Oh man, don't look now, but Cody Laney has reeled back in. Your race leader, Dylan Thornton, coming around to four laps to go. And if Laney's got anything left in the tank, he's got to go now. Five tenths of a second the advantage last time. DT puts one tenth on him at six tenths this time. It seems like Laney can make ground in one and two. He gives it all away plus some in three and three. Yeah, you're exactly right. Cody Laney definitely a little better down in turns one and two as he's adjusted his line just a little bit down in three and four. He's trying to make one last ditch effort on your race leader, Thornton. This time by three to go. Well, and he took two tenths off last lap, and now here he comes. He found something three and four for the last time. Can he make it work this time? Thornton around the top. Thornton gets a better run off a of turn four of his time by. Oh, man, he sure does. Just two laps to go. I heart Iowa side by side for the race lead. Dylan Thornton in the 38T. Tony Laney in the 5L. Off turns three and four. The white flag will be in the air. One lap to go for $2,500. DJ, bring the weekend to a close. Well, the final checkered flag of the weekend is about to wave. Dylan Thornton trying to hang on and lead one more lap. Cody Laney trying to lead the most important lap. They'll roll through turns three and four for the final time. Laney down to the inside, side by side for the win. $2,500 payday. Give it to Dylan Thornton. Cody Laney comes home in second. Scott Lemke with a great run in third. Fourth will go to Wyatt block Chris Simpson fifth from 17th then it's Matt Warner Jeremiah Hurst Trevor Fitz Jeff Larson and Charlie Moore rounding out your top 10 man another outstanding IMCA modified feature as we wrap up this program at 9 38 p.m. local time here he is race fans up and out where you can hear you about it for Dilly Dilly Dilly, this thing, man, what a race. I hope everybody, I hope it was enjoyable to be involved in as it was to watch, man. That was awesome. You and Laney got nasty. Yeah, this car, uh, since we unloaded it this year, it's been really, really balanced. Uh, Kyle at Harris Auto Racing builds one heck of a car, and uh, I fine-tuned on it all winter long, and uh, it's been a long weekend. If it wasn't for this guy right here, Shane, he busts his butt all weekend long so we could uh, race both cars. Um, a little mad rolling out for that feature after looking like an idiot in that late model race but luckily mike builds a really strong car warrior and uh, just bolt on parts so we ought to get that fixed up uh i don't know that was a that was a pretty good race that was good stuff man it was a whole lot of fun from my seat anybody else you want to thank other than wiggy yeah uh my uncle uh salty's barbecue and catering and sean ritter if it wasn't for them i mean we wouldn't have a motor in this thing right now uh wickman trucking kai family farms peterson insurance uh team harris auto racing uh, Custom Concrete, TC, Perry's Electric Motors and Controls, Performance Bodies, Dirt Stars, Hypico, Willwood, Quick Car, Bilstein, uh, Dynamic Drive Lines, um, everybody that helps out on this thing. Sounds like you've done that before. Race fans, let them hear one more time. Dylan Thornton, your winner in the Modifieds.